This is Judy speaking from Kibbutz near Oz. And it so happens we are now undergoing a military operation. Judy Weinstein Hagai's poetry is a reflection of her talents and passion and life close to the Gaza border. No jackals, peacocks, or bombs. Good start today. Her last haiku, published October 7th, the day she and her husband Gad Hagai were captured by Hamas and the family only just learned murdered. Their bodies have not been released. They were really believing and hopeful that Judy was alive. This beautiful soul, this teacher of mindfulness. The Raoul Wallenberg Center wants Canada to investigate Hamas's actions in the terror attack of October 7th and beyond and issue dozens of sanctions. <laughs> Israel's defense minister says intensive actions in Gaza will continue, quote, until our goals are achieved. That meant fresh airstrikes Friday, with more people killed, wounded, and displaced. Why can't we live normally? This 13-year-old lost her home for the second time after fleeing her first. And the thought of me being killed or my, bro- my other brother being killed just crossing my mind uh, repeatedly. People searched through rubble for survivors, here working to free a child, thousands more feared missing or buried. The Hamas-run health authority said more than 200 people were killed in strikes since Thursday, putting the death toll above 21,000. Hamas does not distinguish between civilians and combatants in its numbers. There will be no prisoner swap deal or no negotiations under fire until the Israeli aggression ends. Hamas released video said to show attacks on Israeli vehicles. The Israeli military released video said to show a new, deeper tunnel network discovered in northern Gaza that was later destroyed. And in Khan Yunus, a child's room with explosives and grenades. May we all be granted the right to our basic rights of home, food, shelter, and peaceful days. Judy Weinstein Hagai remained hopeful for peace, her family now remembering that peaceful nature as her poetry lives on. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.